Hi folks, I'm Daniel Roth, a program manager on the ASP.NET team. ASP.NET Core and Blazor have everything you need to build modern interactive web apps with .NET. But sometimes you need more than what you can do with a web application. Sometimes you need complete access to the capabilities of the underlying platform, which means you need to build a native client app. Building a native client app as a web developer can seem daunting, but with .NET MAUI and Blazor together, you can build cross-platform native client apps for mobile and desktop using your existing web development skills. Let's take a look. To build our first .NET MAUI Blazor app, we're going to use Visual Studio 2022 with the .NET MAUI features enabled. There they are. Got the checkbox checked. We should be good to go. All right, so let's go and create a new project and we'll filter down to the MAUI projects and create a new .NET MAUI Blazor app. Let's click next. That looks like a good name for our project. And there we go. With this single project, we have an app that can run on desktop and mobile, on Windows, Mac, Mac Catalyst, iOS, and Android. Let's go ahead and run it for Android first. It takes just a minute to deploy. And here we have what looks like a normal Blazor app running as a native Android app in the Android emulator. It has all the normal Blazor template features. We've got the counter. We can click the button, the count goes up. For the fetch data page showing some simple weather forecast data. All of this implemented using normal Blazor web UI components. Let's go take a look at the code. The main UI for this .NET MAUI Blazor app is implemented in this main page.xaml file. You can see it's just a single control. It's a Blazor web view control, which is basically an embedded browser control that's going to render our Blazor components. In this case, we're going to render this main component, which is defined in main.razor. There it is, which is just the normal Blazor router, which is going to route to our Blazor component pages, which are over here. Like here's the counter component. It looks exactly the same like it would in a Blazor web application. We can also run this for desktop. Let's try running it on Windows. Switch the target framework to Windows and run that. And now we've got our Blazor app running as a Windows desktop app based on WinUI using .NET MAUI. All the same features work and, uh, and apply. So one UI running on mobile and desktop, even cross-platform. This works on Mac Catalyst and iOS as well. So that's super cool. And because this is a .NET MAUI application, we can take advantage of native platform capabilities. For example, we could add some, some native UI. Let's go back to that main page.xaml. And I'm just going to copy in a snippet here to add a little bit of native UI to this app. Now we've got a grid control with a native label and then our Blazor web view control. Let's go ahead and run this again. All right, there it is. And now we've got a native label up here at the top. That's a WinUI control sitting right next to our Blazor web view. Super cool. And we can use native platform capabilities in our code as well. Let's go back to uh, index.razor and let's add a little bit of code here. Uh, let's go ahead and add a, a button and with an on click handler. And this is going to get a message that we're going to want to display. Uh, we'll define that in a second. Um, let's call this our edit button. And then we'll display the message below. Um, we'll call it a variable message. We haven't defined that yet, but we will in just a second. All right, so now we'll add a code block. This is where we'll define our message. Let's give it a default value like hello. And then let's add some code for that get message uh, method. And in here, I'm actually just going to copy in a little snippet. What we're going to do is we're going to open up a, an, an advanced text editor uh, from the underlying platform. Uh, it's going to be Notepad in order to get some text from the user and then display it in our Blazor web view control. I think we just need to resolve a namespace. We'll do that using the Razor editor. There we go. Save that and we should be good to go. Let's go ahead and run this again. Okay, now we've got our button. We'll go ahead and click it. And there's our advanced text editor, hello.netconf. And we'll save that and close it. And now we're displaying that text that we got from Notepad in the file system right here in our native client application. Can't do that from a web application.
Donnet, Maui, and Blazor combined make it easy to build cross-platform native client apps using your existing web development code and skills. Be sure to give it a try. I think you'll be amazed at what you can build.